but I've missed I've missed you. All right, we've missed you too. Uh, in you people's perspective, well. they've pro you know too much money. Too, too much, much money. money now. You are too big to be talking on the <laughs> radio with us. <laughs> not really, not really. But I'm glad to be here today. I'm glad to have you here as always. So we're gonna focus really on the top story that is trending. As you know, the Supreme Court has finally <laughs> announced their ruling, which has brought an end to the eight-month dispute against the results from the elections um, 2023 in February that saw Bola Metinubu become president of Nigeria. We know that that was being appealed by the opposition, <laughs> Atiku Abubakar, as well as uh, Peter Obi of the Labour Party, of which the election tribunal had upheld the result by the INEC, of which, you know, Atiku and um, Obi still went further to take it to the Supreme Court, uh, which they finally threw this case out and i say finally um, because um, patriotic of them, and, and, and i say finally because you know based on the different narratives the different angles that we're seeing the views of the people you know it's been eight months of this hustle in court <laughs> um we know that some of the allegations by the opposition are on the grounds of malpractice as well as ineligibility coming from Bala Ahmed Tinbu is what they had argued in court. We're going to be dividing today's topic into some three parts. And the reason why is because I really want us to hone into different aspects of the topic. But before getting into the other parts, Shion, I want to get your take on the entire proceeding, starting with the um, elections tribunal that upheld the INEC result, saying that Bala Ahmed Tinbu was or is president, as well as, you know, the opposition saying they're not satisfied yeah, well, and taking it further to the Supreme Court. The tribunal said that the fact that uh, all results were not collated into IREV is not grounds mm -hmm. for notifying the election. And I agree completely. Interesting. Why do you agree? Because three months, I mean, four months before, the same ruling was issued in Oshu State mm. when APC was contesting Davido's uncles. The same uh, people that were that were complaining that were supporting the ruling mm. that time because their favorite got in. So they, were, they weren't a complaint. They were not as... It, <laughs> so once they've, the, once they've set the precedence, you understand, even though it was set against APC, APC cannot use that precedence to their own advantage. I mean, we, eight months after an election, we are still dragging in court. In the, it is also Nigerian anyway. See, hmm. I think Nigeria has become an adjective in a way. We should be using our country as an that's adjective for things like this. But, that's in Nigeria. But, but that's interesting, <laughs> Shil. Um, so, so because you have mentioned something that a lot of people have brought at, to the forefront of the entire proceeding, saying it's been eight months, let's get with the program, we have a new government, let's move on and see how we can collaborate to make Nigeria better. However, on the flip side, there are Nigerians who are saying that, you know, in a democratic nation, it does not matter how long ago that they feel that they were robbed. And this is according to their narrative. It does not matter how long at the malpractice that they alleged took place you know during the elections it doesn't really matter what does matter is upholding democracy and ensuring that the right route was taken to declare um you know a man or woman president or the political office holder of whatever position it, it is so people are saying well it doesn't really matter if, it, if time has has come and gone it, it, what really matters is the process that is being upheld according to the constitution so we, what are your should, thoughts we should about make that the, we should make the process quicker then hmm. you know eight months you know i, I mean so what happens let's, let's even see we now even change the government or now new government will now start eight months this one too will now go and appeal really come see this elite of nigeria need to find a way to uh, unify their 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 base hmm. and themselves quickly because their infighting is really doing more damage to this country than any personal good it can do to any one of them for whatever personal reasons that they are doing whatever it is that they are doing hmm. you know we are the ones paying for it and for the fact that we the ones that are paying for it are the ones jubilating and jumping up and down the most it's kind of sad also my political mentor said something to to me like three weeks ago that in this our generation some people are too stupid to be slaves interesting i mean and i think it's true mm. you know 
Because at least in the days of slavery, there's no slave that put the picture of their slave master in the house and start jubilating and praising that slave master in some kind of way. Wow. The slave was wise enough to know that this man is the one that is making my life this way. You know, but these days, I mean, hey, too stupid to be slaves. That, that's, that's just the word I have, you know, because this is not our fight in any way, shape or form. It is not our fight. The thing that our fight, we neglect them. I was saying last year, our children were home for nine months. Nine months, the children of this country, the underground, sat down at home and their parents continued to go to work every day. They didn't cross their mind that they should strike on behalf of their children. So this is how the elders continue to fail the, gen the next generation of people that are going to, you know, supposed to be patriotic to this country. Why would they have that feeling when both the country, both the elders, Nobody cares about anybody, you know. Irresponsible behavior, you know. Deceiving young people for your own personal interest. You know, even this thing that is happening in politics yeah. is happening in entertainment. Mm -hmm. It is the same spirit. Please, could you, could, you, could you explain that further? What do you mean by it's happening in entertainment? Okay, look at this whole mobile issue. Okay. At the end of the day now, whatever has happened to mobile, the worst thing that caused is courtesy. Courtism is not even in discussion anymore. It is personal attacks on how to destroy somebody, how to drag one person down, how to do DNA one person. Is, the underlying issue is forgotten. And it's the same thing in politics. So, I mean, <coughs> excuse me, we as Nigerians need to decide what our battles are. Because we, our energies are not infinite. Hmm. We we'll get tired pretty soon and we we'll just accept, you know, grinding every day as we are almost accepting it, like nothing can be better. Everybody is even on that level that nothing can be better, nothing can be better. You know, just because we don't want to participate how we should on our own side. You know, I mean, so I'm you, happy do, this is over, Sha. Do, 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 you, do you not think that a form of participating on the people's side is speaking up against what they thought was electoral malpractice, as well as, you know, some of these allegations that were being brought up in court? Isn't that, okay. you know... No, no. For me, that is, okay, fine. If we are going to say we want to fight, let's fight the fight that we know that makes sense. If a tribunal in this country has ruled months before hmm. that not loading result into IRA in yeah. a governorship election mm. does not mean anything. How can we now be shouting again for the same thing to change? Is, is that how elders should now tell young people that, ah, should educate them. That's our duty. Oh, young people, oh, this thing cannot happen like this. Oh. The law, they have done it in the governorship elections. If this precedence has been set, that's the truth. No matter how bitter it is. Mm. But because you want to harness their energies for your own personal gain. You know, you want to lie to them, to agitate, you know, to create some kind of unrest just to serve your own interest. Saying certificates is not... When the school... I went to read... I said I took my time to go and read the school's deposition that they were saying. The school said they did not... Even the BBC carried a, carried a whole investigative uh, report mm. on this certificate issue. And found that there was no case there. But to deceive again, they are turning wrong. When the real issue... You all know that the real issue is among your class. That whatever corruption has happened in INEC is among your class. And you don't want it to change because you too want to benefit from that kind of situation if you have the opportunity. That's the situation here that we are facing. Yeah. Young people being deceived, their energies being harnessed for crazy things in this country now. I mean, who is going to apologize to uh, uh, the Malians? Who, <laughs> at the end of the day, I always say that, no, see, he doesn't know them. He doesn't know Samari. Nobody knows that The boy didn't do anything. But they destroyed his name. They destroyed everything. I'm not saying he's innocent, too. Uh, Naira has many cases in the Nigerian court. But on this one, you know, is that how the kind of society we want to become? Where we use our sentiments and our emotions and whatever we feel for someone to just destroy the person for no reason whatsoever? When the real issues are there, nobody is touching it. As I repeat, the real issue with Mobad case is courtism in this country. When we get to the bottom of that, we'll start having issues like Mobad. But nobody, because everybody enjoys their status as ogres in different courts with all their boys, hailing them. 
All right. Um, so, so now let's let's take this a step further. I, I want to get the the takes of those that are listening as well. You know, because you have you know rightfully said, you had mentioned that time has has passed. It's been eight months. You know, let's move on. But I want to hear from people as well. What are your thoughts about this? You know, what are your thoughts about the long lasting tussle in court starting? From you know the February elections, it's been eight months, and you know right now the Supreme Court has finally brought an end to it, upholding Tinubu as president. Um, do you think it's time to move on? Is this a, a place where we, you say to people who were dissatisfied with the electoral processes to move on and collaborate with the existing government to make sure that Nigeria indeed becomes a better place? Zero eight zero nine two three four. Five nine one three. Ify. Zero eight zero nine. Give me a moment, please. Zero eight zero nine two 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 zero nine one three zero one five one five zero nine one three zero one five one five one nine one three. Show. Why must they even collaborate with the present government? They don't agree with it. How how then can we uh, can we change? They can be strong opposition if they want to be strong opposition. Mm. But the reason why they cannot be strong opposition is because the grounds on which to oppose this government. They are not brave enough to oppose the government on those grounds hmm. because they go and standing on those grounds. They are standing on those grounds. So when you say they, you're talking about the elite. You're the not talking about the majority of Nigeria. Nigerians have no com com representation. We have no representation. What is this government? The way the government is set up is not set up to represent Nigeria. See, for if you want to know the people that have representation in this country, when you pass their house or their company, you will see police van in front. Hmm. Those are the people because they know that there's no number for you to call, for police to call in an emergency. So the people that are represented by government in this country are giving permanent police in front of their business and their houses. If you don't have that, you don't have representation in this country. You, are, you must immediately align yourself with the people and fight for your own representation in this country. If you think you're going to play this politics and it will not eat you and your relatives all that, because that is what is going on. That is why everybody is looking for money like a mad person in this country. People think it's because they like money. Mm. They are lying to themselves. You don't like money. It's not comfort you are seeking. You are seeking an escape, a temporary escape from oppression. You know that money can save you from the consequences of the system we live under. Mm. That's why everybody is looking for money. So, uh, um, Sheo, we've addressed the elites. Now, addressing the majority of the population, because the elites are, are barely like 1%, 2% of this country, and we are over 200 million people. <coughs> so what are the people, you know, supposed to do now? You know, are they taking o this organized. as is? Yeah. According to the Supreme Court, you know, is are we saying that's why I said are we saying collaborate? Because indeed, for a country to stand, we there must be unity. If there is division, we can barely make any progress. So are we saying to you, people, and I'm talking majority yeah. of the elite, yeah. move on, collaborate, let's you know help the government out. No, unity is overrated in my in my own. Interesting. Eyes. Why would you say so? I have not seen any developed country or that we say we are looking up to that is united. Is it the British that are united? Hmm. Is it the America? The Americans stormed their capital after the election in their country. Where is the unity there? Hmm. Is it England? The Scots and the British hate each other. The Irish separated. Northern and Northern Ireland and the Republic. There's no unity anywhere in the world. The only problem we have here, say, we have elites that don't respect their own country and its people that their country and its people is not enough reason for them to do anything. Only profit moves them. But the difference between them and the elites of these countries we talk about is that their country and their people move them. You understand? They are not united about anything. What is unity? Unity is overrated. Go to Europe. The French hate the British. The British hate the Germans. The Germans hate the Italians. The Italians hate the... This is how the world is, but Europe is enough reason for them to form the European Union mm. for the benefit of Europe. They respect their land. We have a group that don't respect our land, and we are trying to behave like them. Everybody wants Jakpa, nobody send Nigeria. Then our country can never be great. The majority of Nigerians have to wake up and start organizing our own platforms to wrestle power from these people. They have nothing to offer. They have nothing to offer except to show off the things that they bring from their master's land. To make you feel inferior because you cannot afford it. How long do we have to continue living where the value of Africans connected to what we can buy? So, so how else do they wrestle this power if not through 
um, a way that has been stipulated by constitution, which yes. are the electoral processes yes. of which the people are then arguing or, you know, complaining about how it was filled or plagued with a lot of controversies. So so how how else? Because the people believe we've done what we ought to do by taking we've the not done, We've not done what we ought to do because we are, guide, we, are, we are supporting fascism in this country. You know what fascism is? Mm. Fascism is when one group in a country holds power perpetually, eliminate, uh, eliminating and excluding all other groups from power. Only the rich people in this country hold power. The people that make this country actually work do not hold power. They are not even represented by those that hold power. So what is stopping those people now from organizing themselves in this same political process on their own platform to wrestle power from these people? Why must we continue to queue around people that have had over 70 years? They've not fixed one single problem in this country. They cannot even repair drainage. This whole country, no city has good drainage. People that cannot do only drainage for 70 years will go and queue behind them and say that we are intelligent people. We are lying to ourselves. We are deceiving ourselves. You know, we don't want to we don't want to accept the responsibility of our generation. We want to continue to mortgage this responsibility to other people and give ourselves excuses. The Supreme Court is not. They should go and protest the Supreme Court. Uh, uh, Ruling now, Abby. <laughs> All right, let, let's take a few calls and then we'll take this a step further. Lagos Talks, please turn off your radio. Good morning, what's your name? My name is Chidi from Lakewood. All right, Chidi, welcome. Um, join the conversation. Let's get your take. Okay. Hi, this is How are you doing, Chidi? I'm fine, my brother. Thank you. Nice hearing your voice. Okay, uh, one, so. Uh, from the last comments we made, we can see that the platforms we, ha we have in Nigeria is already corrected. And I know that we have been hammering this for a very long time. Why not, before we start change, if it's based on the, the only platform we have for changes to the concerns of politics? So, unfortunately, in Nigeria, they remove referendum. So, it's only election you can have. There are no referendum where you can even say you want to conduct a referendum to decide what you want. They are, they are smart on that on Nigeria. So, what, so I'm, I'm telling you that you need to, you don't need to wait for 2020, this 2027. Why not that to a platform? Why not make a effort to register a political party? So that the civil youth, the frustrated masses, can say, okay, now we start now to plan ahead, not when it is six months election. The same cycle will continue because how do we break evil cycle? Because what what we have now or what we had before is not working. Let us not pretend. Let us not play fatality here. The 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 masses are suffering. And the businessman, I know people that have been eroding in this in this past period. Millions, millions are losing in business. People cannot even say that. And this people, people will see the uh, uh, high power and will continue to, 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 to cry. Or to cry on nothing is to plan to tap up. Because if this country is good, Th thank you, Chidi. They really want to come to Nigeria. It's just this thing, this thing that is going on that is carrying them away. They're not happy. Nobody is happy staying in another man's land. Because you put them in order. So that, that my oh, thank, thank you very much. I, I have the movement of the people. It's our political platform. Uh, and this is why me, I even personally hated this whole court, whatever that is going on. Because, because of this court case, new parties have not been allowed to register. Anek has replied to us to say we have to wait. We have to be wait, waiting till they finish the whole electoral process of 2023, uh, mm -hmm. which is just finishing yesterday. So thank God, MOP can put in their application now, you know, using their own reggae to spoil our blues since. <laughs> so now that we, at least we too, we are free to register, you know, but I know what it is to register a party in this country. I have gone through it. But Nigerians should also not deceive themselves as if there were no other parties in the last election that were different from this, this, uh, 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 what would I call them? The two major parties. The party, party organizations <laughs> that were ruling this country. 
No, it's true. Because we Nigerians act as if we are blind to the fact that even though these people act as if they are divided in the political space, that they are all united on the boards of the multinational corporations that extract from this country. In those boards where they all sit down, irrespective of party and tribe, do they argue with themselves like that that cause the detriment of those companies or do they work together on those boards to move those companies forward and make profits for those companies? But when it comes to Nigeria, they start remembering their tribe. They start remembering their differences because Nigeria is not worth to them what those multinational nations, companies are worth to them. So we that Nigeria is worth something to us, we must wake up. All right, Chion. Let's it, take it a step further into the specificity of the some of the the, the um, findings coming from the ruling. You know, taking a look at the major grounds of which um, the opposition brought um, the case to court, which is ineligibility as well as malpractice. We're going to start with the ineligibility. Wow, that's a mouthful. Talking about the opponent saying that Tinubu was not eligible to run in the first place because, number one, he was indicted for drug trafficking while living in Chicago. And we recall that the U.S. government statements actually did confirm that Tinubu had to forfeit about $460,000 back in 1993 over links to a drug trafficking syndicate. But I must add that he was not indicted or convicted. And um, we know that this was not originally part of the appeal, but following the election tribunal's decision last month to, you know, discard the opposition's malpractice claims, um, I, I, I know that um, the former vice president, Abu Bakr, had filed a lawsuit in Chicago to get the Chicago State <laughs> University, where Tinubu claimed to have received a degree to release the original copies of his diploma and other documents from its archives. And we do recall that uh, the CSU registrar, Caleb Westberg, in a hearing, did confirm that Tinubu attended the institution between 1977 and 1979. However, he said the school could not authenticate or divorce. That, that, is, that is not the truth. Tinubu that is, you see, that's misinformation. That's so, no, no. Just that up. is not what was said. We, we, this is what I'm saying. Wait, if you wait, we, we won't wait, get to you that. Don't. Show. Wait, we wait, get to wait. Before, before this you is what I hate before, about the elders of this country. Before you comment, no, it's not even before, a comment before matter. Before you comment, let's before, not be let, dragging let, this let, thing. Let, no, let's, let's not drag it. We are dragging this thing. We're going to land. This is not what. This is not what was said. We will land. This is not what was said. We will land. Calm down. We will land first. Before you comment. This is not what was said. So, in terms of I know they like all this kind of thing. In terms of what was said or what was brought to the fore by Atiku Abubakar, uh, claiming Atiku Abubakar. Inel ineligibility <laughs> of the now president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, especially regarding the um, indictment, taking a look at uh, the claims that he was a part of some drug syndicate in Chicago, of which he did forfeit money, but, like I made mention, they did not indict him. And then taking a look at uh, the certificate saga we that was plagued Nigerians, with a lot of issues. Nigerians what are your thoughts must about go and that? Learn their, even recent history, we don't know. Even recent history, we don't know in this country. If you knew this recent history in this country, mm. and you know of Tinubu's involvement with Nadeko and Abacha, and American government involvement with the creation of Nadeko, and how they were all running to America to stay as a, a what was it called? Exiles. Meaning that America was funding a counter -revol a revolutionary group in Nigeria, because Nadeko, Nadeko was an armed revolutionary group, setting bomb, fighting military government. Go and read on how America finances such operations. Go and read on how America finances such operations all over the world. Uh, and when you now know how they finance such operations all over the world, go and ask why uh, the uh, poppy fields under Taliban was in existence. But when America took over Afghanistan, poppy fields grew by over 900 percent in three years until they chased them out again that the Taliban is fighting the heroin trade in their country. Go and investigate mm. why america as a government is involved in the sale of crack into their own neighborhoods in south central los angeles go and investigate those things then you understand what is going on here and i like there's that you're no, bringing that no, history show. i'm telling you because, that's the reason why you're here mm -mm, but we, we need no, to listen, connect that to what no, is being brought by mm -mm, the opposition mm -mm.
Can we connect that to what, what is being brought by the what opposition? Is, what is being brought by the opposition? The law says if you are ex convict, is he indicted? Mm. No. Is he convicted? No. This is how we don't train our youth to understand the system. This is just emotional noise making. You are you want to show that the man had okay, fine, everybody what everybody knows in this country about all political players, if we weren't out of our minds, we'll be stoning them and we'll see them in public. None of them will be ex will be exempted from the stoning, but we are out of our minds. We are out of our minds. So suddenly somebody will bring one information for the city. Trillions of naira is being stolen in Nigeria every day by these same people. The Nigerian was killed by somebody for wanting to expose the drug ring as far back as 1984. So what are we saying? Who are the people in charge of those things in this country? We know these things. Everybody is quiet and we live, we live with it. But suddenly somebody will push one button. Everybody will start making that they don't know what is going on in this country. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so are you saying that there should have been other grounds that were brought to to contest the results by INEC. I want to really know There's no where ground this is to going. contest the results. Exactly. So so in terms it's of waste what of Nigerian was said, so you're saying for some people, for that some, the fact that he was associated for with some a people, drug syndicate that is it's not ground. Uh, what is the name of the drug syndicate? What is the name of the drug syndicate? We don't know the story of the, that I'm, I'm telling you that I'm sure the American government knows everything that was happening in that whole scenario. So, 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 I, and now that's what I'm trying to drive at. So, what, what are you saying in terms of the American government and their association with this particular case and the results coming from, you know, what Atiku had requested yes, from filing that, this lawsuit in Chicago? What does the American government have to do with this? Is that it, the American government, in the name of imperialism, is in charge of the decisions that are made in this country, and if they are not at, a, if they don't find that action by the president, anything that they are against, then nobody can use that information against him in a way that will affect him. Because the people that he did it for, we protect him. Interesting. Exactly. All right. So let's take a few <coughs> more calls. Let even in their courts, even in their courts, oh. where we say law and order is being followed in their courts, they didn't convict him or indict him. Hello. All right. Lagos Rocks. Good morning. What's your name? All right. Let's hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Well, the question people have been asking the four fifty dollars for fifty Nigerian people in nineteen ninety three. Is it proceeds of drugs or money they involved when it was working as a person motor accountant as we have? He has said it's not a money from a cattle, which uh, honestly was not arrested. Mm -hmm. like because I've got in the business of saying what I don't know. <laughs> that for fifty thousand, is it for what? If it is the issue, the man has a lot of issues. I don't. A lot of issues. Do, do you do you know who is this for? But, but, but shouldn't that what? shouldn't shouldn't that be a question being asked? What was the four hundred and sixty thousand dollars for? Ask now. <laughs> I mean, has anybody been stopped from asking? If Nigerian journalists were good at their job, shouldn't they investigate, me, investigate it? Run, you see, this country, this the kind of character that's in this country, that it for me, it doesn't over with the country. Somebody who's supposed to rule this country should be able to everything about it. I say the person that took him to court, that he drug, his name is in drug. His name came out in uh, <laughs> Panama Papers for money laundering. What happened to him in this country? Not Nothing happened to him. Money. Listen, everybody in this country that is in power, they all have this 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 um, crime on their names. Nothing will happen to them. I, 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 I repeat, the person that is making the noise that the uh, the Tinubu forfeit for sixty thousand, his own name came out in Panama Papers as money laundering while he was governor in this country. What happened to him? Panama Papers. Uh, what uh, happened? Uh, uh, that one is a different that issue. That one is a different oh, issue, uh, my brother. It's different, my brother. I agree with you. It's different. But, 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 it's a different issue. But, but let's make sure that we're directing it in, 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 yes. in, in collaboration with what's happening. Okay? Yes, yes. To you think, focus you think, on the, you to think focus on the if case Peter will be at one the election, to focus not, on the case if the Peter will be two at one the election, Tinubu too, they will have got to bring out Panama Papers. Mm. They would have got to bring it out. I need to defend it. 
Right now, the way the Tulubu is defending his own, that's how they all are. I am not, I am not about Supreme Court judgment because, like you, I know that it's a premeditated. Everything they presented with like that. And it doesn't take well for the country. Before it doesn't mean that they are going to be. It's very bad for a country. May, 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 may I ask what you mean by premeditated? Because yes, we need to also be very yes, careful about what's what being thinking. said. Yes, so I, so are you about, alleging that the results were... You no, know, no, this is what you're about, alleging. Nigeria said this is what this year caused. That they were put the election of people. In the case of the world, it's not because that's where the election. So these that's are your what, allegations. It's not about the case of so what I want to say, how are we going to move forward in this country? So are we going to go like in April 40 years? After Tinubu and another man from another day, our son, remember the Allah power to shift to the south. So like what uh, uh, Sebu said there, Sebu two years. Tell me what common electricity, politicking, politicking at all. Look at the some of them, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, that didn't go was uh, elected and so on, the judges from Sri God. So I suppose for me, we continue to practice it to right democracy. So we deny the same thing. If it goes to that, I will tell you who are standing with the election. People of people will tell you they are both down. How? It's All right, thank you very much for your take. We need to let you go so that I, we can get I still other believe, calls. I still believe that until the Nigerian professionals, that is you and I, mm. that are not involved in all this uh, government business that sit, uh, sit on our hands and don't do anything until we all understand that the reason the ancestors have given us some little comfort within this oppression is not for us to be lording it over the have-nots but to build bridges with them and create the platforms that will represent them that our talent is not for chasing the bag but for developing our country until we understand that nothing will change and we don't want to understand that because we want to club all day and all night and do the latest dance on TikTok and mortgage our responsibility to someone else so that six months for election will go and queue and start shouting as if we care about this country. Until we understand that it is a responsibility. You know? It is a responsibility. Especially when we don't pass 30 years. We can't be dragging with the young people what they're supposed to be doing. We have the time to do that has passed. Face serious things. Face your country. Because that is what is necessary for us. We are not Americans. We are not Europeans. We don't have what they have. We don't have the foundations, the systems, the support systems that their countries have given them. We don't have that to be behaving like them. We don't understand the point we stand in our own specific history. Not in the global history, but our own specific history. We refuse to acknowledge our position in it. We refuse to acknowledge that we are a conquered people whose resources are not even allowed to be used for the benefit of them and their children. We act as if all these things are not happening because we want to do TikTok dance, we want to buy Gucci. We know that if we fight for ourselves and we stand for this country, maybe we will not have access to those things. And that is where we are failing because those things matter to us more than our own freedom. Mm. So let's continue. All right, so, but, but sure, I'm well, looking I, for I, short I, I cuts. I do agree to, with you to an extent, but, but can we also acknowledge that these people that we're calling out to, like you and I, did come out at some point in 2020 to speak up against police brutality as well as bad governance as well. Yes, I do understand that we are seeing, you know, the popularity of social media and people using that as a form of like an opium or, 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 they... or let me finish, as a, <laughs> as a way to sort of like douse the stress and the issues that they are experiencing. But we cannot take away from the fact that the youth did come out in 2020 as well as the youth mobilizing behind a particular candidate that you also have come out to say, I mean, from what we've said, you don't agree with. What so are we saying see, that all, the youth coming out to mobilize <laughs> behind someone, it's the wrong person or they are just not mobilizing? They didn't because mobilize. I think we need to, we need to separate mobilize. these two things. So when, 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 when we take a look at what happened in, in NSAS, what was that? Just the way they could create national hatred for Naira Mali for what he didn't do. These people also had the power to create national momentum for candidates that don't deserve it. If so you, you say, so, if so you say, well, let me finish, on. let me finish now. You okay. say, yeah, okay. if on. you say NSAS was some kind of movement, do you know the state that was the worst culprit in the NSAS uh, uh, whole drama, the state with the worst NSAS rec uh, SAS record? 
was Anambra State under the governorship of Peter Obi. So how those people that mobilized for such a protest now took their energies to go and support the person with the worst record of what they said that they were trying to stop? Tell me how that makes sense. Tell me how that makes sense if it's not laziness. If it is not complete and total laziness, so an, an abjection of responsibility, in fact, a, neg a neglect of responsibility. Tell me how supporting the person that had the worst record of what you were fighting against was the right step to so take. You, so the case is not that they didn't support or mobilize, it's that they mobilized no, they not, that's the not mobilization. Mm -mm. So, that's so I'm asking. That is so, not mobilization, so, so that is that's... supporting. Okay. They took their energy. So, so, let me tell you, okay. Nigeria, even the, during the NSAS protest, the mistake that was made was that there was no ground mobilization work with the grassroots. We went online, forgetting that very few percentage of us are even can even afford smartphones. Mm -hmm. We organized our protest online. We arranged our mobile social media protest, ready to go. As soon as the streets, the grassroots, entered that protest, we were the first people to condemn the protest, calling them hooligans, this one, we don't support that. Why are they doing this? Why are they looting here? Why are they burning there? <coughs> you know? You know that, that particular so, narrative is also plagued with a lot of controversy as well. So what is, what, no, I'm not saying. So what, where was the uh, mobilization there? That when the inner city youths came out to also show their anger for the police brutality we're talking about against the system in the way that they know how, in the way that we should understand that we did not go and mobilize them and give them the rules of our protest. We kept them away from it. We were only online. Nobody went to those neighborhoods to knock on doors because that's what mobilization is, knocking on doors, actually. You know, nobody did that. So when we are saying, when we are giving ourselves all these praises, let's I mean, tone it down a bit. We did what we did. What we did. We did what we did. Yes. But let's not call it what you it can, is not. No, no, but you can say we did what we did, but we didn't do it well enough. Rather than saying we did not even do it in the I first place. You did not mobilize. I'm so you can say that there are other ways that it could have been done better. But we are not going to doubt what, what was done by the young people. Mobilizing is bringing the grassroots on board. That is what mobilizing is. That you go and you bring the grassroots on board. Without that being done, mobilizing, we arrange amongst our class to complain and SARS, not to talk to We say and SARS. Because now SARS, they disturb us inside our bears. Now SARS, they harass our friends. You know, we didn't care about police brutality. I, really. I beg to differ. The people that, we, no. We you didn't see, care you really see, because mm, at the end of the day. The tribunal that was set up, most of the people who went there with complaints were not people who had bends. There are people who would say that they had dreads walking on the streets because they are trying to earn a living with their laptop, going to their work. Mm -hmm. These people do not have bends. Mm -hmm. So let's not say that so it was I'm, a I'm it was a fight of the elites. That the people that joined the protest that set it up had the issue because their own PAs were disturbed. Everybody, they don't have issue. I repeat, nobody have issue with police brutality in this country. 80% of the celebrities that were gathering at the Lekki to shout also take police to their shows to beat their fans for coming close to them. What are, they, what are you telling me in this so, country? But, but, the contradictions mm. are too glaring for us to ignore. I say the people that were shouting answers also take police to their show to beat fans for coming close to them. The people are what? What percent of the number of people that I say 80% of there? the people that mobilized... 80%? 80% sure. of the musicians. I'll repeat, me, I'm a musician. Exactly. So I won't be talking about... I won't and talk about OAPs. 80% uh, of uh, the musicians. I won't talk about OAPs. I won't talk about uh, influencers. Mm. They do it too, but I won't talk about them. Okay. In my own field, say, 80% of the musicians in the forefront of mobilizing for the answers take police to their shows. To beat their fans for coming close to them. Mm, and I would not dispute that, Cheung. But the <coughs> musicians and the celebrities were a minuscule percentage of the number of people that went out there to speak up against police brutality. Yes, now you're so talking about the, no, use, you're talking we're about, not going to use the I minority to paint this. a picture of the no, whole. No, 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 no. There are certain people that arranged the protest, that organized it. I'm talking of that organizational group, not the people that came. I'm talking of people that organize it themselves, that say, we don't like SARS. I'm telling you, they were, they were specific. They don't care about police brutality because they themselves use police brutality against the same fans that like them. But Cheung, we cannot use that to describe the entire NSAS movement. There are people who actually died. People who do not have bends. Okay. People who, who are brothers, How many of the sisters? organizers were there with them when they were being killed? 
the same people that called but, but, everybody come out for protest. How many of them were there when soldiers came? Is it like DJ Switch, who was also a celebrity? Who DJ? That was who, the day people knew who, who DJ Switch was. Exactly. That was no, the day people knew who she was. Don't don't claim DJ Switch was. Exactly. Don't she claim. She was a celebrity, mm, 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 but she was you, a celebrity as from well. From that moment. From that moment. So what, what does that have pre, to do with the fact that, that people moment, did get attacked by the, the military at I'm the not, time I'm when they were there? I'm saying that they were, they were betrayed by a certain group. Because if I call people to be somewhere, it is my duty eh, to protect them. So where were the people that called them to be there? Where were they? They were the same people that now went online to be shouting, support the panel. We will get justice in the panel. At the end of the day, where was the justice for the people killed at Lekki in the panel? And when we even say people killed at Lekki, we minimize the atrocity that was committed in this country, in our elitist way of seeing things. We, the people didn't die only in Lekki. People died in Ojudu. They died in Alumosho. They died in K2. They died all over this country. Absolutely. They died everywhere. But other than Lekki shooting, Lekki shooting. As if it's only people that died in Lekki that mattered. No, 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 people no. People no. died all over this country That's not what in their numbers. Show. That the Lekki tour was symbolic of the movement. It was not limiting the movement to Lekki Phase One or to, to Victoria Island. People came in their numbers from the mainland to Lekki. Okay. So we're not limiting answers to what happened in Lekki too. Okay, good. So it's not only Lekki massacre. So because you just said Lekki, it was a statewide. Absolutely, but that place was symbolic of the movement. Is the, the, the reason why the the they've day, been using that as that, a symbolism? That, that symbolic place where people died did they get justice for the people this is what is being still spoken about till today when the government said is there, there isn't going to be any mass burial but then people are saying but if you said people did not die how can there have been a mass burial planned I'm in saying, the first place i'm saying where is the justice for the people that died it's not about our our emotional outburst and the innuendos we can throw out to the government the panel is closed now because the panel, the one was saying that time, people were saying, yeah, okay, let's go to panel. Okay, now we are in the panel. Panel is finished, completely closed. I, I think what we've been able Where to, is the justice for that? That's what we're, we're, we've been able to emphasize, that we are all victims of a failed state, unfortunately. Yeah, but then we are failing ourselves too. We have to agree that if we don't accept our shortcomings, how do we get better? But how do we accept we the shortcomings are, if we're poking holes in a movement? That is you could have how. said, no, you could have said we could do it better. That is Let's how. mobilize and do it better. That is what I'm saying. Exactly. But if we're saying that we are limiting the entire movement of people who are who are the, 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 the part of the grassroots of mm. Nigeria, yes. we are limiting it to some celebrities that came out to say, you know, you know, let's go to the toe. Let's do this, let's do that. Then it, it means that we are just As I said, we're, when we're, the grassroots we're, we're, we're came out, it, when the grassroots came out, they were betrayed by the same movement. They called them hooligans. Me, I'm, I remember these things clearly. I mean they come online, they holler, they shout, how can you be calling these people hooligans? <laughs> How dare we? I can remember clearly. Say they are looting. We didn't send them to go and loot as if they've not seen looting before. These same people that are starting, we didn't send them to go and loot. They are sitting down with children of people that are looting this country blind every day. They didn't complain to those ones that we didn't send your father to go and loot. But suddenly Nigerians rose up facing the institutions and the things that they see that represent whatever is happening to them. We lost our minds. We will also call for protest. We will go the land blast. Should we liberate all the warehouses for this country where rich people they hide? Indomie, private jet owners, where they hide Indomie. We are not the ones that liberated that one. We didn't call for that one. The people did that one. Based on the energy of what was there, for us to support them, we couldn't. Because we were afraid that they would come and loot our own neighborhoods too. <laughs> and steal our little Camry and our little things. See, we must look at our own shortcomings too. To be able to know, okay, want to do something, this how we do it. I feel like that's the direction of the conversation, Shion. That should be the direction of the conversation, rather than reducing that entire movement to saying that it's an elitist movement. It was. It was. It wasn't. It was. It wasn't. What we are supposed to be doing now, Shion, as the youth, so. is to ensure that whatever movement that's or whatever movement, outcry that's coming out forward, coming, no, coming to another forward, elite. should be done better. I said that's why it should the, be done better. Maybe that's the direction the of the conversation. People, that's why the same people that started that movement took all their energies and gave it to an elite. To go and run for president, the same elites that committed the worst atrocity of a movement they just did three years ago. That's how the people are able to unite yourselves, you know, and deceive the people as if you don't know what you are doing. But you know, you know, you know exactly what it is that you are doing, you know. That's why you know there's there's a sinister and a surreptitious way 
that things are done in this country that the people of this country must open their eyes clearly to see or else they will just be deceived for another generation the way they were deceived to hate Naira Mali for something they did not do mm -mm. So, like I did mention, I feel like the way moving forward is if you, if we, if we are to do things better, let's talk about doing it better, as opposed to saying and reducing this entire movement where people that died, mm. some people that died during yes. that movement, they, they don't have bends. These are people who are experiencing police brutality every yes. other day. Yes. We ought to be talking about how we do things better moving forward, as opposed to reducing the entire movement where people have paid with their blood. On yeah, so I'm advising them to make sure movement. they don't lose their blood, their life again for another elitist movement because they are primed for it again. They are primed to be controlled by the same elites and their pets. They are primed. These people control them, and I'm telling them, don't let them control you anymore. Whatever they say, take it with a pinch of salt. Make sure it concerns you. Investigate it. Think it through. When they call you, don't just jump up. I think that they love you because they don't. Who was the they, Sheung? They, the elite and their puppets and their pets. So, Sheung, what, 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 so if we were to describe you now, what, what, what position are we going to put you in terms Me? of the, the, the echelon of society? Yes, because you're Me? saying if the elites call, if the elites call you, Let me who? tell you, I, I'll tell you exactly what I am. I am a revolutionary. Completely. I've turned my back on the status quo of this country long time. In fact, my family as a whole has committed what is known as class suicide. That's why my grandmother could be killed by the government of this country. My father's house could be burned down and is thrown in jail one million times for committing no crime whatsoever. Where people that commit crime in our same class can walk on the street for free because we have committed class suicide. We have let our class know that we are not on their side anymore that we have seen the evil of their ways and we are committed to the freedom of our own people, that we understand that we cannot be greater than the smallest person in our community. This is how we are brought up in my own family and this is how we see the world. Those that continue to ally with the elites and think that they can in some way ally with the elite on Monday and be on the people's side on Tuesday, go and party with the elite on Wednesday and be on the people's side on Thursday. That's what we are doing here put a wrong president, a whole generation is destroyed and we continue to play the game for our own selfish interests, lying to the people that were on their side. Let's tell them the truth. If you're not on their side, don't tell them you're on, their, you're on their side. Be on the side you're on. Let the few people that truly have love for the people be on their side. Don't use their life to do experiments. African life, how many experiments they want to take us do? We've done all the experiments in this world with our lives in Africa. It's not time that we use our own life, our own betterment instead of experimenting for some people's betterment. I mean, come on. All right, guys, as it always is, The People's Perspective, Fridays, 11 a.m. to 12, make it a date with us. Thank you so much, everyone, that was a part of the show. Remember, this happens right here on Lagos Talks 91.3. Shane, it's always a pleasure having you in the studio. You know I live for this. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys, coming up next is The World News, coming to you live from our media studios and at 12.30, like I mentioned, Directions, that show where we get to point you towards the right direction concerning several topics and several issues and 1 p.m. your favorite talk show with your favorite ladies. It's called The Dish. Stick around. <laughs>